Don't get too comfortable. <laughs> Let's hurry on. Man, I didn't get to do anything. Too much? Gonna read this. Yeah. 
Get too comfortable. Are you okay? Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! You picked the wrong guy to mess with. Be a piece of me. I'm a piece of Get too comfortable. Take this! Wind blade! Take this! Wind blade! Did everyone see me? You were great, Roy! We're counting on you. Ew.
gonna be tough. arduous battle. Sonic Thrust! Light! Photon! 
One right after Look another. Take this. Wind blade. Light photon. So that's the one. Demon fang. Demon fang. You get him. Demon fang. Out of my stuff. Demon fang. Get him. Lightning light photon. Take this. Wind blade. Get him. Lightning. You take this. Wind blade. Get him. Don't bother. Take this! Aren't we clever? What? Photon! Demon Fang! Don't bother me! Take this! Get Wind him. Blade! Never had a chance. This is a dangerous situation, aren't we? Get him! Are you okay? Uh, Let's go! Take this! Get him! Get him! Oh, right. Air thrust! Take this! Are you okay? Wind blade! Take this! Wind blade! Are you okay? First Thanks. base! Get him! Take oh, this! Move. Wind blade! Ready? First base! Get him! Take this! Lightning. Wind blade! Ready? First base! Oh, Take him. this! Wind blade! Don't be futile! Take this! Wind blade! Ready? First base! Take this! Wind blade! Take this! Take this! Air thrust! Lightning! Get him! Lightning! Photon! Demon Fang! Oh, over already? This is a danger. Or situation. Take this! Come get some! Near for us! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! So that's the one! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Never stood a chance. This is a dangerous situation. Come get some near for us! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Light! Photon! Demon Fang! Sonic Thrust! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Tough. Uh, 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 
It just wasn't your day. <laughs>
<laughs> Was that a bit too much? The angel toxicosis again. Let's hurry and let her rest. Are you okay? I'm sorry to trouble everybody again. Don't worry about that, but... Ow! What are you doing, Lloyd? Are you okay, Colette? Colette? What's wrong? Did it hurt? Did you hurt yourself? No, I'm fine. <laughs> I just blinked out for a moment. Colette, let me see your hand. Huh? Why? Just show me. You're hurt. It must have happened when you fell. Look how much you're bleeding. But it doesn't hurt. What? Uh, I mean, it doesn't hurt that much. Colette, can I talk to you for a sec? What is it, Lloyd? I thought it'd be nice for us to talk just by ourselves. Sure. Here, it's hot coffee. Thanks. Hot, isn't it? Yeah, really hot. It's actually iced coffee. What? I had Genus make it cold. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Of course it's cold. I lied. It's actually hot. I knew it! How long have you been like this? You can't feel anything at all, can you? Th that's not true! You're lying! When you fell earlier, you already couldn't feel anything, could you? Uh, well... But... Uh... You were bleeding like crazy, but you didn't even flinch when I squeezed your hand! I guess the secret's out. You haven't been eating lately, either. Eat? <laughs> Barely. You even started eating things you don't like. And that's not all. Have you been sleeping? Of course. <laughs> See, my eyes aren't red or anything. Stop lying to me. You always do that fake giggle when you lie. Th that's not true. Is it that hard for you to trust me? No, it's not like that. I just... I just didn't want anyone to worry. What's happening to you? I don't know. I don't know, but things first got strange when I released the fire seal. I suddenly didn't want to eat anything anymore. And even when I did, I didn't have any taste. No taste? I can't hold anything down when I force myself. So I haven't been eating. I never get hungry. That's... that's... Then when I release the next seal, I stop getting sleepy. I close my eyes, but I just can't sleep. I haven't slept at all since then. Then with this seal, I stopped feeling anything. Why? Why didn't you say anything? Well, I figured this is just what it means to become an angel. So I shouldn't let it get to me. This is what it means to become an angel? Not eating anymore? Not sleeping anymore? Not feeling anything anymore? But my eyes have actually gotten better. I can see really far away now. 
And my hearing, too. I can hear even the faintest sounds really well. I can hear them so well that it's kind of painful sometimes. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was going on at all. I'm sorry. Please don't tell the others. Why? Well, I mean, we're all on this trip together, and I want it to be fun. So, I don't want you to worry about it either, okay? You're so stupid. I'm sorry, Lloyd. Even though you're crying for me, and I'm happy, so happy I want to cry. But I can't anymore. I'm sorry. wounded. Oh, it's you guys. If you want to finish me off, now's your chance. I don't have any strength left to fight. You're hurt badly. Professor, please! Heal her. I will. But first, I want you to tell me what happened here. It seems she has companions, and this may just be a trap to catch us off guard. Professor! You're as devious as you look. Call me what you like. Take a look at this city. Everything's in ruin. The designs invaded. What? Do you know about the human ranch northeast of here? The people of this city had been hiding some folks who escaped from the ranch. The designs found out about it. And not only was the entire population forced to go to the ranch, but the city was destroyed. So, how were you injured? It's nothing. I was just a little clumsy. Ah, help me, please! Damn it! Get back, you monster! Are you okay? She's lost a lot of blood. You're right. Professor, please heal her. Professor, please. Fine. But I swear, you're all way too soft-hearted for your own good. Why? Why did you save me? Probably for the same reason you saved that man. Thanks. I know it's a selfish, unreasonable thing to say at this point, but... Um, I have a favor to ask of you. A favor? I owe the people of this city for food and lodging. Please, help me save these people. If you agree, I'll declare a truce with you and help in any way I can.
No deal. You're after Colette's life. It's one thing to help rescue the people of this city, but I have no intention of cooperating with you. Lloyd, she said she'd declare a truce. Let's trust her. I too think it would do no harm to trust her. Uh, hmm. Well, I... I agree with Lloyd. Of course, since Colette has already given her consent, there's no point in me opposing her wishes. Okay, then let's call a truce until we save the people of this city. gonna be a piece of cake! <laughs> Was that a bit too much? Don't get too comfortable. That was just warming up.
It looks like this is an x manufacturing plant. So it would seem. These are all x -fears? Incredible! Shh! I hear voices coming from the next room. I don't hear anything. Be careful anyway. You! Uh-oh. These are the designs we ran into in the tree at Desert. They still think we're designs. Sir, this is the perfect chance. Are you looking for a fight? Wait. Kratos is with them. We'll retreat for now. You know each other? I suppose. If you mean the fact that we ran into them at Isalia and Triet. I think it would be in both our interests for us not to fight here. Do what you will. Kratos! I'm okay. No time for that. Look behind you. Huh? Well, this is a surprise. When I heard we had some rats, I assumed it was the renegade Bota. But instead, I find the wanted inferior beings. But I must say that I'm quite impressed that you're still alive after that attack. Who are you? You barge into my ranch and then demand my name? Wow, Lloyd. Isn't this usually the other way around? Genus, this is not the time. He's Kavar. One of the five design Grand Cardinals. <laughs> ah, I see that some of you know me. It's just as Forcista said. That x is without a doubt the product of my Angelus project! Good job, Colette. Let's go, everyone! This is gonna be a piece of cake! Oh, no. I bet you I beg of you to my time! Are you ready? Angel feathers! It'll be over. Take this! Lightning! It'll be over soon. No way! Take this! Lightning! No! <laughs> Was that a bit too much? Lightning! Ah. No way! Take this! Lightning! Ah. Ah. 
Take this! Lightning! Take this! Lightning! You cannot oppose fate. One fight after another. Third coming! <laughs>
much of a chance. <laughs> Was that a bit too much? One right after another. Never stood a chance. This is where the X-Spheres are removed from the host bodies. Do you mean that X-Spheres are made from human bodies? Not exactly. X-Spheres are dormant at first. They extract nourishment from humans to grow and awaken. Human ranches are x sphere manufacturing plants. Why else would we spend our time raising and taking care of these inferior beings? That's terrible! Terrible? Terrible is what you've done. Stealing and using x spheres that we've invested so much time and care in creating. You deserve to be punished. Damn! We're surrounded! Lloyd! Your x fear was to be an offering to Lord Eugdrasio. It's time you gave it back. Eugdrasio. I suppose that's the name of your leader. Yes. Now, for the sake of our great leader, Lord Eugdrasio, and for the sake of my own success, I need an x fear Again? What's so special about my x fear That is the result of years of time-consuming research. I can finally reclaim what was stolen by that filthy female host body. What are you talking about? The female host body? You're not talking about... Hmm... You don't know anything, do you? That x was cultured on host body A012. Human name, Anna. Your mother. She took it and escaped from the facility. Of course, she paid for her crime with her life. You killed my... Now, now, don't blame me. I'm not the one that killed Anna. Your father did. Liar! Please. When her key crestless x was removed, Anna turned into a monster. And your father killed her. Pathetic, don't you think? Do not speak ill of the dead. Both just a couple of filthy humans, worthless maggots. them any time by following the chosen signature trail. Right now, the more pertinent task is retrieving the x -fears. Find the renegades. Thank you, Sheena. Don't mention it. But what are you going to do now? Let's return to Lewin first. I concur. Okay.
This is gonna be a piece of cake! Never stood a chance. I can't believe X spheres are made from human lives. This is Marble's life. This thing! Lloyd, wait. What will you accomplish by taking that off? It's not just an X-Sphere. It's also your mother's life, remember? But these things make a mockery of human life. But we would have lost long ago had we not had them. Don't you think I know that? Do you really? If you throw away that X-Sphere now, do you think you can finish this journey? Yeah, I know. Without these things, we're just a bunch of weak humans. We can fight because we have these, I know that. But x exist as a result of taking someone's life. And? Those people didn't become victims because they wanted to. But I doubt they would want to be thrown away after being turned into x -fears. My opinion may not matter much because I don't use an X-Sphere. But I believe the designs will defeat us if we throw away our X-Spheres now. And if that happens, more people will lose their lives to these stones. I don't want that to happen. I don't want this journey to be meaningless. Colette's right. We can throw away the X-Spheres at any time. But right now, we must carry the weight of the hopes and dreams of those victims and fight for their sake, as well as ours. Didn't you say you weren't going to hesitate anymore? I just can't. I know you're right, but... But right now, let me think by myself for a while, okay? Mom, did you suffer when this thing took your life? Will you forgive me for using this? How would you feel? What? If you lost your life to an X-Sphere, what would you want done with yourself? I... If it were me, I'd want to be useful. To someone with the will to break this tragic cycle. Then, perhaps I could atone for some of my sins. Your sins? Like what? That's not important. What is important is your decision about the X-Fears. X-Fears. Well, what now? There is one thing I realized. I'm certain that my mother must have wanted to live longer than she did. Therefore, I'm going to live. For myself, and for my mom too. In other words, you're going to fight. Yeah. And I'm going to break this cycle. For the sake of preventing any more victims like Marble and my mom. I'm going to help Colette on her journey to regenerate the world. Yeah, me too. I'm going to fight on Marble's behalf as well. Me too. I'm going to regenerate the world as quickly as I can. I think you've made the right decision, Lloyd. People are sinful beings. That's why we must continue to bear the burden of our sins for as long as we continue to live. Life survives at the cost of another? I don't really know how to say this, but I don't think there's a way to justify the lives sacrificed to make x -fears. They have to be stopped at all costs.
your fate. Not much of a specimen. Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Angel Feathers! Demon Fang! I was just warming up. <laughs> 